गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट एंड वेलकम फॉर टूडे सेशन इन लास्ट सेशन इन चैप्टर नंबर टू वी वेर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दर इनकम और इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर लेट्स हैव अ क्विक लुक ऑन वॉट वी हैव कवर्ड इन लास्ट सेशन द फर्स्ट वन वॉज इनकम फंड द मेन एम इज टू जनरेट रेगुलर इनकम द इन्वेस्टमेंट इज जनरली डन इन those funds where regular income is provided that is debt fund preference shares debentures bond etc uh, so such kind of fund generate fixed income generally salaried people or uh, the person having a limited income are generally investors in income fund then the second one was growth fund the aim is to generate capital gain rather than regular income the fund is little bit riskier as compared to income fund the investment is made in equity funds mainly uh, and generally the investors are those who want to take risk businessmen uh, person uh, with higher income are generally investors in such fund then third one was aggressive growth fund uh, this type of fund are more riskier than growth fund generally they invest in blue chip companies equity shares uh, that is the equity shares with high volatility so that they can earn higher return generally those investors aggressive investors aggressive investors in the sense those who want to take more risk are generally investors in aggressive growth fund the aim is to generate instant capital growth or intensive capital growth then comes balance fund uh, balance fund is mostly majorly used fund by the beginner of the investors balance fund is uh, aim of balance fund is to generate regular income as well as capital growth so a portion of uh, fund is invested in debt fund and the remaining part is invested in equity fund uh, majorly salaried people or the beginner the investors who are beginner uh, generally invest in balance fund then comes specialized fund this type of funds are created to uh fulfill the specific uh, demand of uh, investors group of investors uh, say for example uh, for a retired people uh, or tho- for those people who want to invest in a specific sector uh, they are also called as sectorial fund and uh, this type of fund are more riskier than other funds as the investment area the scope of investment becomes narrow in specialized fund and then comes money market fund the money market fund the fund invest uh, invest in money market in instruments here the objective is to provide liquidity rather than return generally the investment is done for a shorter period of time uh, and commercial banks uh, are majorly investors in money market fund as they need uh, they want to park their money they want to invest their money for a shorter period of time even though some in, uh, some investors are also a part of money market fund so till this we have completed in last session now moving ahead with the next type is taxation fund the name itself suggest that the taxation fund are aiming to provide the tax benefit for investors taxation fund are specifically a type of close ended fund whereas whatever we have seen till now the six type all are a type of open ended fund before starting uh, the investment or income base of uh, previous one the point number a was close ended and open ended so from this the taxation fund is close ended fund close ended fund are specially those type of fund wherein the starting date and closing date of the fund are fixed and once the investors have invested then up to a specific period of time they cannot withdraw the amount of money similarly in taxation fund once the investment is made then investors are not allowed to withdraw their fund till 3 years or 5 years or a fixed amount of years as prescribed uh, as uh, pre decided in scheme so 
a taxation fund is a type of close ended fund which aims to provide the tax benefit for investors specifically this type of fund are more preferred by salaried people who want to take the benefit of tax exemption the amount invested by investor in this fund are subject to directly deduction from his total income say for example a person is having annual income of 5 lakh rupees 5 lakh 20000 rupees now uh, say for example up to 5 lakh rupees the person do not have to pay any amount of tax while if his amount exceeds then 5 lakhs then he has to pay 5% tax income tax so to save this 5% income tax if a person invest 20000 rupees in taxation fund then he do not have to pay tax on that 20000 rupees and remaining 5 lakhs rupees are already tax deduct uh, tax free hence a person can invest uh, can save his income tax by saving in this type of fund generally tech uh, all type of closing funds are having a specific lock in period and hence the taxation fund is also having a locking lock in period for 3 to 5 years generally 3 to 5 years it means till date the investors cannot withdraw any amount of money in any case from this type of fund and if he withdraws the money then he has to pay the tax on the amount he has withdrawn from this fund next moving for the next is index fund an index fund is a type of fund wherein the collected money the uh, amount which is collected from investors are invested in a specific index in the proportion of the weightage of companies in index for example for better understanding let us understand with example a, a nifty is an index now this nifty is consist of 50 companies as an investors i do not have Uh, the knowledge about what amount of investment should i made uh, in which company rather than doing so i will invest in full whole nifty it means my investment is done in all the companies that belongs to nifty that is in the in 50 companies now if nifty will go up by 100 point then i will have the benefit and if the nifty will decrease by 100 point then i will be in a loss so an investors who want to invest in many companies at the same time generally they prefer index fund say for example i want to invest 50000 rupees in various bank companies shares rather than investing in single single bank companies shares i directly invest in those mutual fund who invest my money in banking sector fund banking sector index and hence i will get the benefit of the ups and downs of the index generally this type of fund provide a good amount of return however this type of fund are the riskier fund as compared to the others as if the whole index is moving negative then the investor will have a uh, have to face a huge loss from all his investment here the proportion of investment is the same as the weightage of companies having in the index say for example uh, 10 companies 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the 10 companies is having a weightage like company number 1 is having weightage in index of 20% so the investment in company 1 is made up to 20% by 20% then the company 2 is having a weightage of 16% so the amount of investment is also made in uh, 16% in company 2 so if company 
if mutual fund company has collected 100 rupees then 20 rupees invested in company 1 16 rupees is invested in company 2 and so on so the total amount invested is the same as the proportion uh, as the weightage of every company has in the index and the investor will get the benefit of whole index movement so that is all about today's session will continue with the remaining types in the next session till day till then have a nice day goodbye